Hey everybody, Alifa Tachi here. I am in my art studio and I call this my my space of peace because in this space I have all my books so that my favorite books of hiking, gardening, meditating. I have my little kimono dresses up there. I have my my medals from the military. They're called coins, um, band coins. And then I have my little love me wall over here. And of course, I have all my favorite things that when I look at them, they give me pleasant memories. But we're not talking about my space here. I want to um, start talking to you about um, something that I've uh, been thinking about doing. And it's a part of my dream board, vision board, is to really um, at least three times a week broadcast and broadcast about the things that I'm doing and love to do and sharing with um, the community and the world out there and if you're interested follow me and there are two places there are three places that you can follow me um, actually four or five if you want to go that far but the two main ones that I'm going to talk about are, are Facebook and YouTube as, and um, one more I'm gonna say three so Facebook Instagram and YouTube and you look for me under revealed lines and it's spelled R E V E A L E D L I N E S and I will type that below this video as well so you can you can follow me but my series is gonna be on my artwork and and what um, it does for me and the process of going into a session and painting um, how it what it manifests in my out my outlook and my positive um, outlook on um, everything that I'm doing and you know it's half a battle if you're positive if you're negative in anything any task or any goal or any vision that you have it makes it kind of harder to manifest and attract the right energy or the right people in your life. And so, um, for me, my secret to, to staying positive is actually painting. So, what is it? What is it that I do? I am called the mobile artist, and I come to you with all the equipments, all uh, necessary brushes, paint, canvas, and uh, material and teaches, teach you how to paint for a three hour session. You, you get breaks in between. And this session just really takes you into this timeless loop where your mind and your subconscious mind is just free and distracted and all that's moving are your hands. But while your mind is distracted, you're getting uh, mental clarity. You're getting a relaxation um, in your body and the body is just in this dream state where in the end, nothing is negative in that space nothing is negative have you ever been in a space like that consciously well the only space that i've discovered that where not nothing is negative is in this space and most people find it either through meditation dreaming um also through yoga when they're in that space of quietness and where their inside voice their guide you know i call them my spirit guide guides speak to you and so I want to talk to you about my first series um, my first painting actually and the process that I went through as I'm painting it and what um, um, manifested from this and if you follow me on Instagram you will see the step-by-step -step process of painting this one painting so I'm going to switch the camera around and show you um, what I'm talking about so um, this is my painting um, it is a scene from the Naval Academy um, in Annapolis, Maryland. I went to the Naval Academy in 1990 and I was a graduate of 1994. And so this is a memory for me that was, was very good. And this is what I remembered about the, the Academy is even when we're coming home from vacation, I noticed we could see this chapel from afar and some of our classmates would call it Oh Shit Hill because we can see the chapel as we're coming down this hill and we're like oh shit we're back to back to reality back to school but anyway my canvas started out completely blank white and the scene um, I wanted to set was the first thing I wanted to do was really to really paint the, 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 the set in do I want it to be um, light do I want it to be dark do I want it to be stormy 
do I want it to give you a calm, cool effect? Well, I wanted it to bring light, full um, light energy to, to the viewer. I didn't want it to be dark. And especially in the winter here in the Pacific Northwest, um, that uh, light and these bright colors really um, does something to your mind and really puts you at ease and give you um, a good feeling about everything. So that was my first um, um, painting night. Um, I paint every night for about 90 minutes. And so uh, in that 90 minute period, I am in that meditative state. So that was my first 90 minutes. And then the second day, I, I ventured on to onto um the water and the water looked pretty complex to me when i did it and i just didn't like it um and i and i like to say this phrase um waiting to disappear so my art can appear and what that means is waiting for me to just lose track of time and consciousness and really dive into that painting and and really don't know where i am and just really enjoy the world that i'm creating and so I wasn't there yet. I hadn't disappeared when I um, created this water section. So first I created the sky and then I created the water section. Nothing happened. I didn't disappear. And then I went to create some backgrounds, some homes in the back and nothing. These were just mechanical mechanical things that as, as an artist I know how to do. Paint a, a triangle, paint a house, paint uh, water. Those are basic things and so your mind is still saying okay i'm just painting these things and so you you really haven't dove into um the, to the relaxing part of it and so this the la the uh, next step was for me to paint these um boats and for me boats are not easy to paint and so i it was a challenge and i took me a little bit longer than i expected to, to finish these boats but i was still very patient and as i got into this stage i noticed that i was actually getting more and more patient I was taking deeper breaths and I really was telling myself, trust the process, trust the process. So I was starting to disappear, but not yet. And so the boats were done. Now I have to come back and pull myself back and look at the picture. And now I can see everything. Everything is laid the way it should be laid. I need to go back and put details, shadows in on the houses. And this was the last house that I did. So now after I did the houses... I came back and put this in and put this church in. And so I worked on that, worked on making everything dimensionally right and, and, and fine, but I still didn't disappear. So I was like, okay, this looks nice, but not nice enough. And so uh, the end result was when I really got into the details of making the water look really real and reflective, was when I started disappearing and then I started putting details, shadows onto the sails and putting the lines of the boats in the background, making sure the boats were anchored, putting some people on the boats. That part was so much fun because putting people on boat um, anywhere and in my paintings has been a challenge. And so when I started doing those little details, I completely disappeared and as you can see, the end result is um, this beautiful painting. And if you follow me on Instagram every day, I have the word of the day. And um, I would love to say this um, painting brought several words to my attention. It brought listen, love, compassion. Um, I don't remember what the, the other two ones are, but if you look on Instagram, you will see it. But it brought, oh, gentle. Um, so it really reminded me to be gentle to myself. In order for me to love, I must learn to forgive. Uh, listen. The best gift you can give someone is to listen. Uh, to tame your tongue and listen. And gentle is just to be gentle to yourself and let yourself know that you love yourself and be respectful to yourself. Because if you don't do that for yourself, then you can't do that for anybody else. And I'm talking about this energy that you, you emit and radiate to others and I'm telling you today was a great manifestation of this complete painting um, I was going through some very troublesome time and so I was really sad um, close to depression so but I knew what steps to do to, to prevent it to take to take steps to getting out of it and one of the, th the things that I did was move I made sure I was walking and 
um, walking by the beach, walking by the park, being around nature, painting. I was painting. I was very, very conscious of my diet and making sure I was getting the right supplements in my body and eating my food constantly. And then the fourth thing was, uh, no, there, there's five. The fourth thing was I made sure that I was getting sleep. Um, and then the fifth and final thing was talking and letting people know that I needed help. And for me, I have a huge prayer circle on Facebook, so I made sure people know. So, you know, the healing process of art works, and I would love to share it with you guys. So if you're interested, contact me on my Facebook, www.revealedlines.com, um, or contact me on Facebook or Twitter. And I, as the mobile artist, I operated within 30 to 40 miles of the radius of Marysville, um, Washington. If you want me to come to you further, you're going to just have to pay for the travel and the time um, spent away from home. But I would love to work with you. I work with corporations. I work with um, individuals. I work with groups. I do the social sip and paints. I do. Um, I work with um, members who have dysplasia. Um, I found this work to be really gratifying for them. Um, and one of my biggest goals is to work with cancer patients because as a cancer survivor myself, um, learning to deal with the, the news of cancer and then the process that you have to go through is very sh traumatic to the body and so painting is one of the best way to help um, the mind go somewhere else and so as the mobile artist will say trust the process begin with the end in mind be gentle with yourself be patient and breathe I'll see you next time bye